Javi Baez is going to make sure the Cubs learned their lesson last fall originally appeared on NBC Sports Chicago. Gamesa, Ariz. Javi Baez has a way of holding his teammates accountable without throwing anybody under the bus. That's because he's always internalizing it, pointing the thumb first and then the finger point two zero one it will go down as Baez's true breakout, finishing second in National League MVP voting and almost single-handedly keeping the Cubs afloat at various times during a trying season. But he wasn't only successful on the field. Baez is also finding a way to lead the Cubs, both by example and with his words. After the Cubs were stunned by the Rockies at Wrigley Field for the NL wildcard game last fall, Baez stood at his locker and held court for a half hour, passionately discussing how the team needed a better sense of urgency from day one. He made similar comments before the game, showing a little fire when talking about how the Cubs need to stop worrying about anything outside the clubhouse and just focus on what they do. Long before Theo Epstein or Joe Madden talked about urgency and edge, it was Baez's voice that echoed through the Cubs' locker room. And he backed it up with his play all year long, including driving in the Cubs' only run in that lone playoff game, after the season was over, after the last game, we started saying what we were missing, Baez said Tuesday at Cubs' spring camp. It kinda bothered me because that's what this game is, to make adjustments and get better, we waited for the season to be over to look at it and to try to make adjustments when there was no tomorrow. I think this offseason, we had a lot of time to think about it to see how we're gonna react this year, and how will they react? How will Baez make sure the Cubs learned their lesson last fall? He knows, he can't do it alone, I think it's the little things, Baez said. Last year, one example, I didn't run full speed to first base. I used to get back to the dugout and nobody would say anything. This year, I'm sure if I don't do it, someone hopefully would say something. It's not to show you up, it's to make our team better, it's a brand new year, and Baez looms as probably the biggest X factor on the Cubs. If he can build on last year's MVP-level season, the Cubs are in a fantastic spot with regards to their lineup as Chris Bryant is back healthy and the other young hitters are potentially taking a step forward after refocusing and making adjustments over the winter. Baez is emerging as a vocal leader and he certainly has the skill set and talent to back up his words. But will he be able to duplicate his 2018 numbers or even expand upon them? Even as he led the league in RBI while hitting 34 homers, scoring 101 runs, stealing 21 bases and posting a .290, slash line, Baez still has plenty of room for development. For starters, he has work to do on his plate discipline and he knows that. I'm just trying to get more walks, he said. Obviously people are talking about my walks and strikeouts. It's only gonna make me better if I walk more and see the ball better, obviously I hope to maintain that MVP level. I'm trying to have a better year than last year, over the last two seasons, Baez has walked only 59 times versus 311 strikeouts. And of those 59 free passes, 23 were intentional, which means the star infielder's natural walk rate is only 3.19% in that span. For perspective, the worst walk rate in the big leagues since the start of 2017 is D. Gordon with 2.7%. No other qualified hitter had a walk rate lower than 3.3%. Madden always says, whenever Baez figures out how to organize the strike zone better, he can turn into Manny Ramirez as a hitter. But even beyond that, 2018 was a great learning season for the 26-year-old. He now has a better understanding on how to keep from wearing down at the end of a long season and came into camp looking even stronger, I kinda did get a little tired because a lot had to do with running the bases. I was trying to get 30 stolen bases and in the first half, other teams started spreading word about me on the bases by said, I was kinda working a little bit more and I had a little bit of pressure on me. I was trying to do too much in the last month, just trying to make an adjustment on that.